Oh, ah, oh, so close. <laughs> I didn't know that was gonna be the very end. I jumped right into it. All the lovely people. I hope you've been doing well. I'm going to be taking the Myers-Briggs test 16 times and try to figure out if I can turn out to be every single one of these personalities. I have all 16 in this jar. I'm going to be selecting them and then taking the test to see if I can be in the mind of that type and have the type be the results. So for the first one, we are going to test as an ESFJ. I don't know how that's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. All right, so with the ESFJ, our functional differences, um, they are leading with extroverted feeling, then it goes to introverted sensing, then it goes to introverted intuition and then introverted thinking. And so for an INTP, their dominant function is gonna be my least and their least function is going to be my dominant. Actually work inverted, I just realized. <laughs> so um, I'm interested to see how um, I might interpret. So I need to lead with the heart. You regularly make new friends. You know what? I'm just going to agree full on. Um, you spend a lot of your free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest. I'm going to say they may not, but they may be inclined to, but uh, okay. So seeing other people cry can easily make you feel like you want to cry too. I'm just going to say yes. Um, you often back or make a backup plan for a backup plan. I can see them maybe doing that because of their introverted sensing. They might have experienced something. So I'm going to say yes a little bit. You usually stay calm even under a lot of pressure. I'm going to say no, that they probably don't. I don't really know. Um, and it's always so interesting when trying to, when you see a person and you think that's how they're going to answer it. And then when they're taking the test and they've kind of let you know, like, oh yeah, this actually goes on in my mind and my more personal life. You're like, oh, I did not see that at all. Um, at social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to new people and mostly talk to the ones you already know. For an ESFJ, I mean, it's kind of typical. I'm going to go with yes, but how much so, you know, I'm going to do a little bit. The biggest thing because of that introvert is sensing, like if you have certain experiences that might want you, that may might have you pull back just a little bit. Um, or pull you forward depending on how the experiences go. Uh, you prefer to completely finish one project before starting another. You know what? I have no idea. I'm going to completely start a project. If extroverted intuition is a is part of their cognitive functions, even if it's their tertiary, their third one, I will say they might be a little more scatterbrained, more inclined to be so. You prefer to completely finish. Well, prefer in actually doing so is different. <laughs> um, we'll just be on the disagree side. You are very sentimental. I'm going to put them on the yes because of the introvert sensing. You like to organize tools like schedules and lists. Hmm. Organization. You know, I don't know why this is the one either. I'm just going to be like, sure. <laughs> Even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge. I'm going to be on the disagreeing side. Um, you feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up a conversation. I, th I think <laughs> I'm going to say yes. Um, you are not in, you are not too interested in discussing various interpretations of analysis of creative work. I think they might be a little bit interested. Um, yeah, at least a little bit. Um, you are more inclined to follow your head than your heart. I'm going to say disagree. Um, you usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given moment instead of planning a particular daily route. And so I'm I'm going to put that for them. That's just tough, especially as like, oh, you can't go back. Oh, you can't go back um, because of them being a, more of a judging type. You know what? I think. I'm gonna put a disagree. Ah, oh, man, this is tough. But they're also with the NE, which is kind of more free. Ah! 
<laughs> you usually prefer just doing what you feel like at any given moment instead of planning for a particular daily man okay maybe we'll go over the first one i don't know oh, i'm so curious how this is going to turn out you rarely worry about whether you make a good impression on people you meet um i think they probably are inclined to that um you rarely worry so i'm gonna say i'm gonna say they'd probably disagree you enjoy participating in group activities oops sure i'll say yes and i want to try to be able to go from one extreme or the other um if i can you like books and movies that make you come up with your own interpretation of the ending Ooh, that's an interesting one see this is something so precise if you're not in that person's head or you at least talk personally with certain people you just man how would you know that you like books and movies that have kind of an open ending i'm gonna say no like your happiness comes from or more from helping others and accomplishing things just leading fe i think probably yeah um you are interested in so many things uh that you find it difficult to choose what to try next Hmm. Do ESCFJs have a wide variety of interests? Probably not. I think they're a little more lasered into what they like. Um, you are prone to worrying that uh, things will sorry will take a turn for the worst. Hmm. I'm gonna put, say yes because of introverted sensing, but it, like their loop, they're gonna be going out more. So uh, well, we'll just kind of go with that one you avoid leadership roles in group settings mm. <sighs> this is so weird um if they say if i say yes why would i say yes if they avoid um but it's it almost feels like they will be more inclined to what they want to have happen and they might want to influence others a little more so i'm just saying just making things up a little bit you are definitely not an artistic type of person well, they probably have some like artsy sides that so you're definitely not we'll say no um you think the world would be a better place if people relied more on rationality and less on their feelings <sighs> just because of leading fe i'm gonna have to put a disagree um you prefer to do your chores before allowing yourself to relax You prefer doing your chores. Man, if an ESFJ is watching this, be like, I know what I pick. Um, You prefer to do your chores. I can see both for some reason. I see one being like, yes, I want to feel accomplished in what I'm doing. But because of the NE, I kind of see the, hey, you know, we'll just kind of move on to the next thing. And it's okay to just kind of, ah, let's do, mm, you prefer to do chores. I'm going to say no. You enjoy watching people argue. Probably not. Um, you tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. I think they may, like they're naturally in the spotlight, but that doesn't mean they actually like being in the spotlight. Do they avoid, like actively avoid the spotlight though? I'm going to say disagree. Your mood can change very quickly. <sighs> I'm because the introverted sensing. Well, no, that doesn't really like suggest stability of just mood because you could experience something and kind of go from one end to the other. Um, if, if a new experience is coming up, FE, I'm going to you can change mood very quickly. I'm going to be on the yes. You lose patience with people who are not as efficient. Are these efficient types? Ah, I don't know. Efficiency. Because then it's difficult because it's like if I'm if I make this person more efficient, then like my answers in the back were not as correct. But if it is uh, the other side, then you lose patience with people. ESFJs, do you lose patience with people um, who are not as efficient? I gotta choose one. Lose patience. You lose patience with people who you are not, who are not as efficient. Ah, I'm getting stuck. <laughs> so I'm going to say. Mm, 
I don't, man, I don't know. Efficiency, are they efficient types? I'm stuck. I don't know. You often end up doing things at the last possible moment. Um, do they do that? You end up, yes, no. Because of extrovert intuition, I can see them being a little bit more spontaneous. So I'm going to say yes. You um, always have been fascinated by the question of what, if anything, happens after death. Hmm. I don't think they would be like as deeply inclined. Um, let's see, halfway there. You usually prefer to be around others rather than your own. I'm going to just say yes. Uh, you become bored or lose interest when the discussion gets highly theoretical. Uh, yeah, because of um, become highly bored. Uh, because of their TI being their least function. You find it easy to empathize with a person whose experiences are very different. You know, I'm going to say they probably are a stronger empathetic type. Um, you usually postpone finalizing decisions for as long as possible. Uh, I'm... I'm going to say a little bit on that one. You rarely second guess the choices that you've made. That's tough. Cause I think being in like a, a feeling type, especially just extroverted feeling type, I think they have a stronger, like what's right and wrong because it's out of the good of the other people and being conscientious of their needs. So rarely second guessing choices. You rarely, so I'm going to say yes. Because I think a stronger TI type is always kind of second guessing themselves and trying to refine their thinking. After a long and exhausting week, um, a lively social event is just what you need. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm just going to say agree. Um, you enjoy going to art museums. I could see that being a thing they might be interested in. Because it may not necessarily be the art museum, but just kind of go out and experience something new. But there might be some interpretation and experience. It. We'll see. Um, and maybe even who they're doing it with. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. I'm going to disagree with that. You like to have a to-do list. Uh, we're having this to-do list thing again. For some reason, this is the one I get stuck on the most. It's like their efficiency, to-do list, and, and like productivity um and i guess i don't know an esfj so that could be um part of the struggle you like to have a to-do list i'm just gonna say disagree you rarely feel insecure everyone feels insecure uh you rarely feel insecure i think Man, because everyone has a different kind of secure insecurity. If well, why would an ESFJ feel insecure? Like, like what they're doing doesn't matter. Feel like they don't matter. Like the people around them are getting hurt, or their past has a lot of struggles, and so like if they're struggling with their past. And things in the present are seeming like that's going to happen again. They're trying to avoid that. Hmm. I don't know. Rarely insecure. Are they kind of confident types? Ah, let's do. <laughs> Man, some of these are hard. So rarely insecure. F-E-S-I-N-E-T. I think. Maybe they're one of those sneakers because or sneaker people because sometimes they come across a certain way and really what's going on inside, they're actually deeply motivated by their insecurity. Maybe that's kind of something. So you avoid making phone calls. Man, I have no idea. Avoid making phone calls. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say... I'm going to say disagree. Uh, you often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from your own. You know, I think they are curious, um, especially, well, 
and I'm leaning on extroverted intuition because it's I think it's a strong enough it's a strong enough uh, tie or it's in the the third one strong enough to be able to want to seek out differences. So I'm gonna be yes. All right, we're almost there. Um, in your social circle, you're often the one who contacts your friends, initiate activities. You know what? Sure, we'll kind of keep that consistent. If your plans are interrupted, your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible. Dang it, there's this one again. And this is one I, I don't know. If your plans are interrupted... Mm, um, because <laughs> first I think it's because I'm hung up on the J at the end, but when I see their cognitive stack... your plans are interrupted you know i'm dang it because if i say more on the this side i think i'm going to start going against like what i have been setting them up as f-e-s-i so like man let's <laughs> if your plans are interrupted your top priority is to get back on track as soon as possible um Dang it. I might be kind of counterintuitive with that. You rarely uh, contemplate the reason for the existence of humanity in the meaning of life. <laughs> you know, I'm going to just... They probably have those thoughts and wouldn't want to go, like, completely agree. But uh, your emotions control you more than you control them. I think, yeah, I'll put that on the... You take uh, great care not to make people look bad, even when it is completely their fault. I think that's something they might do. Especially if they are more community mindsetted. Mindsetted? Mind, whatever. Uh, your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy than organized and consistent effort. Ah, so yeah, see, we, this is the one I keep kind of going back and forth. I'm going to make them more spontaneous than I would be inclined to make them. But when um, someone makes or thinks highly of you, you wonder how long it'll take to fit till disappointment. Well, when someone thinks highly of you, you wonder how long. I think, yeah, because so one extroverted feeling you are much more about the community of the group and maybe like your contribution to the community uh you start to question your value i don't know this is just trying to think of a whole nother mindset and then with extroverted or introverted sensing you're in your internalizing experiences in the past i've already answered i suppose so like well, I'll just go with that. You would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time. I think they probably wouldn't. Um, you believe that pondering abstract blah, 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 philosophical questions is a waste of time. I think they might be more inclined to think that way. You feel more drawn to places with busy, bustling atmosphere than quiet, intimate places. Um, I think that would be more... You know, I could see them saying, but I like my... Uh, <laughs> I'm also an introvert. <laughs> you know how those extroverts are always like, but I'm an introvert too. So I'm not going to make it so extreme. You know at first, Clint, but their introverted or extroverted intuition would make them more drawn to the bustling. <clears throat> I'm going to do that. Um, you know at a first glance how someone is feeling. Well, we'll just assume they are more so um, empathetic types. We're almost there. You often feel over overwhelmed. Um, I'm going to say no. You complete things methodically without skipping over any steps. Ugh, this one again. This kind of idea. How methodical? I'm going to say, I'm going to be on the disagreeing side. You are very intrigued by things labeled as controversial. You know, I think not. Well, I think there is something about extrovert intuition that you're kind of inclined to just <laughs> um, engage yourself in things that are a little bit questionable because it's an experience. Controversial, but I can see how extroverted feeling they would want things to be you know, morally good in a way and introverted sensing their their experiences um wanting to keep away maybe from things that are bad for the group 
So I'm, we'll just keep it there. You would pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else needed it more. Mm, I think a good opportunity. Well, you know, I think I got too fast there. Extroverted intuition. I think maybe not. Oh, man, I, it's just sometimes I wonder because like, so FE for me isn't a isn't my strongest so like how would you look at someone and you're caring for them but there's these other things that are working in your mind ah, you struggle with deadlines i'm just gonna say yes with them uh you feel confident that things will work out for you um you feel confident that things will work out for you it's kind of yeah their their demeanor are they kind of a more of a confident type feels like it's getting really dark in here <laughs> um you feel confident that things will work out for you. If I say it more, somehow it will click something. I will say yes, because introverted sensing, I think they might go off of what they know a little bit more so. Yeah, especially less like, oh, ESFP. Oh, I was so close. <laughs> I didn't know that was gonna be the very end. I jumped right into it. Dang it. <laughs> well, I got close everyone um off by one letter but that doesn't mean that so let's look at their cognitive stack of an esfp i have it down here um so extroverted sensing introverted thinking extroverted feeling and introverted intuition so even though i might be off one letter the cognitive stack is completely different for the most part or at least they're in different orders in some of them so all right i hope you guys enjoyed that journey and i'll see you guys in another video another life you never know peace